Captain Rathir today. A drink, some cheer, a hot meal. Don't bother me. I'm waiting for a passenger, some suicidal idiot. Can't be caught chatting. I want to make a good impression. I captained my first ship when I was no bigger than my papa's knee and promptly crashed it into the dock, sinking three vessels with one wreck. It was then that I knew my destiny was to be a sailor. From that day forward, I spent my life on the water. Twenty ships in twenty years. It must be some kind of record. He's as elusive as a north wind. A phantom with a skull for a face and fins for feet. Every sailor yearns for the chance to face dead cow. He and his hangmen go where they please. Masters of the Frostbreak. In my experience, islands are places you visit in order to escape torment and certain death. The Gallows End is one destination I will avoid on future voyages. Unless I crash there, of course. Bloodgrin, the Whispering Witch, and the Baronet. Oh, fiends and killers, all of them. They give sailors a bad name. Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing dead Kel. It's suicide, really. Ask the others. Oh, wait, <laughs> you can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. You know, the other applicants. Dead, all of them. All of the ones they found, that is. Plenty of others just vanished. One poor fellow was found cut into teeny tiny pieces. They needed a bucket to pull all of him from the surf. But don't you worry, we'll have a fine voyage. He's the worst of the worst. A villain who truly enjoys the pain he inflicts. He's a slippery one, though. Not even death can catch dead Kel. I'd love to be the one to bring him in. Maybe then I'd finally get some respect. It is the mysterious island fortress of dead Kel and his crew. Why? Do you know how to get there? Because I have no idea. I was hoping to figure it out as we go, but I'm starting to wonder if that's a good idea. Flattery will get you nowhere, unless I've had too much to drink. Then I'm afraid to say it'll get you all sorts of strange places. I shall not elaborate. Tari and I are ready when you are. Only what you want with you in case of an emergency. There aren't many merchants where we're headed. He's the fine first mate on the ground next to me. Words aren't his strength, although I'd be pressed to say what is exactly. I found him after I was forced to maroon my last first mate on a desert island. That man became obsessed with me, probably because we had sex. A lot. Seeing as I don't believe in navigation, I'd have to say no. Not at the moment. Not to worry. Once you've wrecked enough ships, you get the hang of it. Take all the time you need. Tari and I will be here. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're back. Tied all your knots and pulled all your anchors, have you? We're ready to go whenever you are. If you're ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go, then. Trust no one. Except me, of course. Pirate King, who cut a blood red wake. From dark Rathir to frustrate sea, and dead cat.
Kel was his name. With hangmen crew and bow white flag, he sailed from Gallows End. No solace for a sailor true when dead Kel's ship 